It all began with a dream, a dream of reaching out. In 1977, humanity placed a message in a bottle, not into the sea, but into the vast dark ocean between the stars. We called this vessel Voyager 2, a marvel of engineering, packed with instruments to see, listen, and measure. It's mission, a grand tour of the outer solar system, made possible by a rare planetary alignment. On August 20th, a Titan Centaur rocket launched Voyager 2 from Cape Canaveral, carrying our hopes into the unknown. Voyager 2 was more than a machine, it was our eyes and ears, destined for places we could only imagine. On board was the Golden Record, a gold-plated disc with Media Group, close-up of the Golden Record on Voyager, Voyager spacecraft, with Golden Record visible, E stock, a distribute equally, greetings in 55 languages, music, and the brainwaves of a young woman in love. It was a greeting card to any civilization that might one day find it. The launch was just the beginning. Voyager 2 wasn't aimed at a single destination but would use the gravity of giant planets to slingshot from one to the next, a cosmic billiards game. Its computers were primitive by today's standards, yet it became our most distant explorer. Built to endure radiation, cold, and time, it was designed to keep talking to us from the frontier. The primary mission, explore Jupiter and Saturn. Anything beyond was a hopeful bonus. Nearly half a century later, Voyager 2 remains a steadfast lonely sentinel in the cosmic dark. It whispers back from the edge, a testament to human ingenuity. Our message in a bottle still sails the cosmic ocean, and its journey has only just begun. Voyager 2's journey was a masterclass in celestial mechanics and discovery. Its first stop, Jupiter, July 1979. We saw the Great Red Spot as a raging storm, and Io's volcanic eruptions reshaping its surface. Voyager 2 discovered new moons and revealed Jupiter's dynamic system. Next, Saturn in 1981. Voyager unveiled the ring's intricate structure, thousands of ringlets shepherded by tiny moons. It found mysterious spokes in the rings and studied Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere. The mission could have ended but Voyager 2 pressed on to Uranus in 1986, discovering a tilted world, strange magnetic fields, new moons, and rings. Its data rewrote our understanding of the ice giants. In 1989, Voyager 2 became the only spacecraft to visit Neptune, discovering the Great Dark Spot, the fastest winds in the solar system, and the geologic wonderland of Triton. After this breathtaking tour, Voyager 2's planetary mission was complete. Its path now led outward toward the stars. The grand tour had become a journey into the unknown, and Voyager 2 was ready for the next frontier. After Neptune, Voyager 2 entered the vast, uncharted territory beyond the planets. Its new mission, to reach the edge of our sun's influence and cross into interstellar space. For decades, it traveled through the heliosphere, a magnetic bubble carved by the solar wind. Voyager 2 became our scout, measuring the bubble's properties as it sped toward its boundary. The years passed, signals grew fainter, but the spacecraft pressed on. In late 2018, Voyager 2 detected a sharp drop in solar wind and a surge in cosmic rays. It had crossed the heliopause, the boundary separating our solar system from the galaxy. Now in interstellar space, Voyager 2 joined its twin, Voyager 1. With two scouts in this new region, we gained our first direct evidence of the interstellar medium. Voyager 2 was no longer just a planetary explorer, it was our first true interstellar probe, and it kept sending postcards from a place no human-made object had ever been. As 2025 ends, Voyager 2, now over 13 billion miles away, still whispers back to Earth. Recently, Mission Control noticed something extraordinary. The spacecraft had deviated from its expected path. The shift was minuscule, smaller than a human hair over thousands of miles. For decades, Voyager 2's trajectory was predictable, governed by gravity and its final slingshot past Neptune. But now, something had gently nudged it. Engineers checked every system, every thruster, Voyager. 2 was healthy. The nudge wasn't from within, it was from outside. The implications were profound. Something in the emptiness between stars had exerted a force. Not a hidden planet or dark matter. This was subtler, a gentle persistent pressure. For a spacecraft that survived Jupiter's radiation and deep space cold, this tiny course correction was a new mystery. The team was both baffled and exhilarated. Voyager 2 had encountered a puzzle only the cosmos could provide. Even in the silence of interstellar space, 
the universe still had surprises, and Voyager 2 was there to witness them. What could push a three-ton spacecraft in the near vacuum of interstellar space? The answer, dust. Not household dust, but ancient interstellar grains, remnants of exploded stars, the seeds of new worlds. The space between stars isn't empty, it's filled with a thin fog of dust and gas. Voyager 2, speeding at 34,000 miles per hour, is flying through this cosmic mist. Each dust grain is tiny, but over time, countless impacts add up, a gentle, relentless sandblasting. Recently, Voyager 2 entered a denser-than-average cloud of interstellar dust. Scientists now use its trajectory as a new kind of instrument, measuring the density of the dust cloud by the force on the spacecraft. Voyager 2 is feeling its way through the galaxy, mapping the invisible. This wasn't a planned experiment, it's a bonus discovery from a 48-year-old machine. The gentle push from ancient stardust reminds us, even the emptiness of space is full of subtle forces. Voyager 2 has become a particle detector using its own motion to reveal the galaxy's hidden structure. Science thrives on such surprises, and Voyager 2 continues to surprise us. Why does a tiny change in direction matter? For Voyager 2, a minuscule nudge today means a vast difference over millennia. This is the butterfly effect on a cosmic scale. Over thousands of years, a barely measurable deviation becomes millions of miles. Voyager 2's future path, once predictable, must now be revised. The constant drag and push from dust will alter its course, perhaps changing its closest approach to distant stars. This discovery reveals the challenges of interstellar travel. The space between stars is not empty. It's a dynamic environment with winds, currents, and clouds of dust. Future probes will need to navigate these subtle forces. Voyager 2, our accidental pioneer, is teaching us the rules of the galactic road. The fact that we can detect such a tiny change from billions of miles away is a triumph of human ingenuity. Even the smallest events, measured with precision, reveal deep truths about the universe. News of Voyager 2's subtle shift sent a ripple of wonder across the globe. For scientists, it was a moment of pure discovery, a reminder that the universe is intricate and interconnected. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, awe and celebration filled the air. For the public the story captured imaginations, a spacecraft nudged by stardust like something from a poem. Voyager 2 became a global celebrity once again, our shared emissary to the unknown. The event sparked reflection on our own journeys, how small, unseen forces shape our lives. Voyager's path became a metaphor for resilience and the power of persistent effort. Missions like Voyager unite us, lifting our eyes to the stars and reminding us of what we can achieve together. When we look at Voyager's data, there are no borders, only a tiny brave probe reporting from the frontier. It's a testament to curiosity, collaboration, and the human spirit. As of December 31, 2025, Voyager 2 continues its silent voyage, its power is fading, soon, its instruments and transmitter will go dark, but the end of communication is not the end of its journey. Voyager 2 will sail on through the Milky Way, a ghost ship carrying the memories of Earth. Its path, now shaped by stardust, will outlast us all, our cities, our nations, perhaps even our species. For billions of years, it will drift among the stars, a testament to humanity's curiosity and hope. Voyager. 2 is more than a machine, it's a symbol of our highest aspirations. The golden record it carries is a message of peace and friendship, a snapshot of who we were. Should it ever be found, it will tell our story. Of music, beauty, intelligence, and hope. It is our legacy, cast into the cosmic ocean. As we look up at the night sky, we know a piece of us is out there, far beyond the farthest planet. Voyager 2's journey is our journey, a story with no end. And its voyage continues. Onward.